Hey, testing. One, two, three, four. Don't cut the Now, you want to mention the martial law? Yes. You want to say what our headline is? Uh, yeah. We this this particular press conference and and other places and other venues, uh, we are going to initiate and ask the public and suggest to the public that we uh, we declare martial law, not them, us, and we ask for it. Am I correct? Yes, and. Uh, we need to have this martial law as soon as possible because that allows my team to bring in the cold fusion, the new technology. So we are waiting to get on uh, Coast to Coast and all these other big networks that apparently have a big million audience size. We're waiting to get on to spread the movement because they feed off the fear of the martial law. Uh, Coast to Coast is afraid to have us on. They don't even know what we're going to talk about, but they, uh, they intuit. Don't bring us on, but if we get on that level, this movement spreads. But meanwhile, we're Wherever you are, start talking to the audience, start talking up. We need to start having massive demonstrations asking for martial law so that we can all be temporarily put in jail. Of course, it won't happen. Everybody will realize it's, it's ridiculous. But this is another way of announcing that there's no room in the golf. We must say here, we are immortal, so it doesn't matter what jail you put us in. We collectively are free. We are so free, James, today. It's incredible. The, be the beauty of the plague and the Black Death. Praise all those people who died off back then because they created the conditions for for where we are today. But historically, like the Chinese, we walk into the future backwards, looking at everything in rearview mirror terms, and that is the uh, job of the new artist to um, sort of correct. So if you're in a body today, you're supposed to be here, you're supposed to be the one of the creators, you're supposed to create new ways of getting out of the situation and moving forward without looking backwards, correct? Yes. Uh, the images that you have in your brain are useless. The repository of memories and stereotypes and even the idea that you live in the United States is useless. Those images do not apply, as we saw in that article. The computer environment can't determine who's guilty and who isn't, and everybody's at fault, even though we know those guys started it. You know? So right. no knowledge is possible. No traditional linear perspective on what's happening is possible. You are in a state of meditation and zombies Zen Buddhist, uh, you know, buzz out, bland out. You are in a high level of consciousness, which thought can't keep up with. That means you've got to talk very carefully. Right, and I so agree with that. I, to talk about. Say we that again, go ahead. point that martial law is where we, what we should be emphasizing. Right, I, I agree with that. The reason why I agree with that, uh, I mean, I agreed with it anyway when you first initially had it up, but when I got this email from this student, um, I am, I, I was at, like, this is a person that should be like, just put their hands up and say, I give up, where are the camps? And just, I'm going to bring my sandwiches and some of the clothes and we're going to go right now. Because I know if that's happening to one person that's a student who hasn't even been around long enough to accumulate any digital uh, alleged debt, that, uh, that means if uh, this were broadcast on a larger venue, I think that would make a lot of sense for people to say, hey, look, we just can't do it anymore. Because generally, that's the, what I get from everybody. How I can't do this anymore. How am I supposed to survive? And these people are they are on the brink. What's interesting is they're on the brink from becoming a well-intentioned, good-natured person to thinking, well, I might have to steal or I might have to do something illegal. So they're being forced because they want to take care of their children or their chemical bodies or whatever the situation is, and they're being put into a corner. So it's those people that are in the corner are going to be heading that way. It should definitely it would start in organizing your cities, towns, uh, local people, meetings, groups, getting and declaring this martial law uh, ourselves and then initiating it. Yeah, because they're already technically under martial law conditions. They're imprisoned. They're in jail. They can't move. So right. why not make it a, a known perception publicly that this is the concentration camp, the whole planet, uh, the United States especially, and we don't mind being put in a small concentration camp or, or a, a prison because there you would feed us. So the, that's another image that Alex Jones and the rest of them pump about this fear of martial law, another image. Right on your back, cause I'm coming like you.